Hi, I'm Steve Ricosa, the executive producer for Star Trek Online, and we're here to celebrate Star Trek Online's eighth anniversary. I have the team about to come out and tell you some of the most exciting stories from the development of Star Trek Online. One of my favorite moments working on so was rebuilding of Earth Space Dock. Earth Space Dock was an older map that we had for a long time, and we got to refresh it, we got to make it brand new. We usually work individually on a map. Each environment artist gets their own map and works on that one thing by themselves. Earth Space Dock was one where we all got to work together on one big project, which was pretty neat. The favorite feature that I've worked on would probably have to be Starship Combat. I was a part of making the prototype for Starship Combat, including shield facings and firing arcs and the fundamentals of uh, that prototype still exist in the game today. And nine years later, it is still uh, celebrated as probably one of the best features of Star Trek Online. Working with Chekhov and working with his likeness for Agents of Yesterday was a lot of fun. Making sure that wrinkles matched up, making sure the width of the mouth was right compared to the eyes, placements, and the nose. The most fun are Klingons and bringing to life like Worf, getting his character to be on screen again in all the makeup and all the glory. My favorite memory of working on the game was building the original series Enterprise model for our Agents of Yesterday expansion. It was a real thrill to do this because at the same time the Smithsonian was restoring the original uh, filming miniature and so the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the original series television show. To see both my model and the real original model come together at the same time was pretty amazing. I'd have to say that my favorite mission out of the ones that I've done so far is the Delta Rising mission, Mindscape, where the player takes a journey into Tuvok's mind. This was a great opportunity to showcase interesting themes of stories in Star Trek about diplomacy versus violence and finding solutions to problems in unconventional ways. By far my favorite thing about it and my favorite thing to work on has been the Foundry. Uh, I started with that project uh, when it was still in its early development phases and I've loved to see the way that it's grown and the way that our players have made use of it and made some really exceptional missions for us. My job is to interact with you guys on a daily basis and that is actually awesome. I get to talk to people on stream every week, I get to see you at STLV. Um, STO is one of the best communities I've ever seen and getting to talk to you guys every week, getting to interact with you has been a real joy. One of my first tasks when coming here was to make something that players would enjoy. So I kind of went a little, a little bit overboard and made about a dozen or so emotes for the anniversary event. And to me, if just one person in the game smiles because of something I've made, whatever time and effort, that made it worth it. I want to thank the entire development team and the community for staying with Star Trek Online for eight long years. It's been an amazing year for us in 2017, and we have a lot of exciting stuff planned for 2018. Victory is life.